video is on classifying matter based on composition matter can be classified into pure substances and mixtures pure substances are of two types elements and compounds and mixtures are also of two types homogeneous and heterogeneous let's discuss all this in detail starting with pure substances pure substances they have symbols they have formulas two types of pure substances are elements and compounds so for example pure element gold is made up of only atoms of gold pure water is made up of only water molecules so once again gold if we talk about gold pure gold fixed composition one type of atoms that are gold atoms of gold same composition and same properties of gold throughout so density melting point boiling point etc same thing with water so water will be all fixed composition one type of molecules which are water molecules same composition throughout they will have same properties so no matter from where you take water molecules it will show the same density same melting point same boiling point and other physical properties these are more examples of elements and compounds mixtures they don't have a fixed formula because they have a variable composition they are made up of two or more types of substances which are only physically mixed here is the particle diagram here you have oxygen gas and nitrogen gas so these are the molecules of oxygen and nitrogen they are only physically mixed together and they retain their own properties there are no chemical bonds between these two substances and two types of mixtures are homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures these are the examples for homogeneous and heterogeneous once again individual substances retain their own properties so oxygen molecule nitrogen molecule even though they are mixed together but since they are not mixed chemically their individual properties are retained next one is elements in detail elements are also pure substances so two types of pure substances are elements and compounds the smallest or the basic unit of element is an atom there are 118 elements on a periodic table here is the periodic table so when the symbol of element has two letters first letter is always uppercase when it's by itself it's just uppercase an element is made up of only one kind of atoms so if you look here all these helium atoms they are only one kind of atoms and this is an example of an element single atoms each element has its own physical and chemical properties element cannot be separated or broken down further into simpler substances so for example if you have a pure gold nugget and if you keep cutting it down uh, then the smallest piece the smallest unit will still be a gold atom so once again no matter if you keep cutting it down it you will still end up getting atom gold atom so you cannot divide element into further into a new or simpler substance elements there are always one kind of atoms they could be monoatomic they could be diatomic there is so monoatomic mono means one di means two for example if you look at helium balloon here all helium atoms only or it could be diatomic for example oxygen so more stable form of oxygen is o2 in the air here so because this is more stable so what's the difference between this and this the only difference is that these are atoms just atoms here two same types of atoms are chemically reactive so these are also atom but molecules because two atoms reacted chemically with each other once again element atoms this this is element but molecules we're going to come back to molecules later here comes second type of pure substances which are compound the smallest unit or the basic unit of compound is a molecule and here they have unique formulas for example let's take an example of water h2o 
so this one here two hydrogen atoms one oxygen so when you talk about water no matter from where you take that sample when you're talking about a water molecule a compound the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen atoms is always 2 is to 1. That's a mathematical relationship. These are called the subscripts. They are fixed ratio. So fixed ratio of subscripts. Hydrogen and oxygen chemically bonded, reacted. And what are they forming? They are forming water molecule. Once again, they are made up of, compounds are made up of two or more different elements. So we need minimum two elements to make a compound. Compounds can be separated or broken down by chemical means. Only by chemical means because how are they formed? By chemical reaction. They are chemically bonded atoms. So when you break them apart, you have to go through chemical process. Here is water molecule. Water molecule can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen molecules. But the properties will be different. Here the properties are not retained just like mixtures. Different physical and chemical properties of compound and the elements which make them. Next one, they consist of only one type of substance, meaning same composition throughout. So look at this water. This is your water. What do you see? All water molecules from top to bottom, only one composition throughout. So it's made up of only water molecules. Another example I have taken is iron sulfide. So iron and sulfur is chemically reacted. So properties of iron and sulfur, the two elements, are not same as the new substance iron sulfide. So here the properties are not retained. These are more examples of compound and here are the ratio of elements which are making these compounds. A compound has a definite composition by mass of element it contains. Last one is two types of mixtures, homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. Homo means same uniform composition hetero means different so non-uniform composition for uniform composition i have taken example of alcohol and water when you mix alcohol and water they are evenly mixed look these molecules are evenly they're mixed so it looks like it's one substance and another example is acetic acid and water heterogeneous it looks like you can actually tell them apart. So if you mix oil and water, they don't mix, they are immiscible. Here is the word immiscible, all right? And here is a word miscible. So when you mix the two substances and they mix evenly, then it is miscible. You're mixing two substances, but they're not mixing evenly, they are immiscible liquids. Here the oil is less dense, so you can see it's floating at the top. We have another example of here of mixture of iron and sulfur. This is just physically mixed. It's not evenly mixed and iron and sulfur, they're not chemically reacted. You can look at this picture here. Look at this one. You're mixing water and sugar. So you, when you mix it together, it looks like a same substance from top to bottom. However, there are two different substances which are mixed physically. Here, again, if you mix water and sand sand is going to settle at the bottom so this is a mixture the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous is in homogeneous mix mixture it looks homo means same and in heterogeneous mixture you can tell the substances apart and again here you have more examples here and you have more examples of heterogeneous substances here look at these particle diagrams pure substance look at the composition from top to bottom same these are all the molecules of compound, right? Compound is anyway made up of two or more different atoms. So this is the example of compound, the picture. This one is mixture. These are elements. Yes, molecule because two same types of atoms reacted. So element, these are also elements because same types of atoms. So it's a mixture of two different types of elements. This one is element. You can see just the atoms. This one is also element but molecules because two same types of atoms. So what's the difference between this molecule and these molecules? These molecules, two same types of atoms, element. These molecules, two different kinds of atoms, compound. Okay. I want you to pause the video and read all of these 
and then write on a paper whether these are true or false. Well, if you said they're all true, that means you got, you got it. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.